How would you like to install some cameras and microphones in your living room and bedroom that broadcast what's happening in the privacy of your home and bed to the entire world for everyone to see, including your trusted government officials? Well, this may seem like science fiction or something out of George Orwell's 1984, this is exactly the kind of Orwellian New World Order that we are rapidly moving into. Yes, new S Samsung's new smart televisions have built-in cameras that have facial recognition systems and audio voice recognition systems as well that identify who is in the room, who's looking at the TV, who's talking to the TV, and the best part is there's no external on-off switch no cover over the camera, not even an LED light showing when the camera and the microphone are turned on. Fantastic. Here in an article out of the Daily Mail a while ago, it says, oh, some critics have suggested that the TV company could be spying on you or even watching and listening to you without your... Oh, some critics just suggest this. Yes, remember several years ago, there was actually a school in Pennsylvania that was charged with spying on their students using the cameras and microphones built into the laptop computers that they issued the students. Yeah, that's great. Oh, some critics just worry about this. Yeah, so not only some critics worry about this, people get paranoid that, oh, you're just paranoid, Mark. You think that the, the CIA is watching you. You think that the government's watching everybody. No, let's, let's just take a look at what General David Petraeus, the director of the CIA, had to say about this new technology. In an article in Wired magazine titled, CIA Chief, will spy on you through your dishwasher. Uh, the article quotes David Petraeus at a technical conference, admitting that the CIA is going to use these devices to spy on people, and that it's going to change the world and the definition of personal privacy as we know it. David Petraeus says, quote, Items of interest will be located, identified, monitored, and remotely controlled through technologies such as radio frequency identification, sensor networks, tiny embedded servers, and energy harvester, all harvesters all connected to the next generation internet using abundant, low-cost, and high-powered computing. Petraea said, going on, the latter now to cloud computing in many areas greater and greater supercomputing and ultimately heading to quantum computing. That is the future. Now, he says here that it will, quote, change our notions of secrecy and our notions of identity and secrecy. Well, of course. I mean, when the government can tap into your television that has audio voice recognition systems and then just plug it into Echelon, the huge spy system that can just data mine phone calls practically in real time using voice recognition systems, sort of like the SoundHound apps, you know, these apps on your iPhones, your smartphones that will recognize which song is playing in just a few seconds. Well, guess what? The government has those voice dictionaries and can pick any voice out of nearly any communication being transmitted through the air. Yeah, what a great idea. So thank you, Samsung, for getting in bed with the CIA, with the Orwellian nightmare, and putting cameras and microphones with facial recognition systems in our, in our bedrooms. That's great. Now, here is I, Justine, this wannabe, thinks she's funny, YouTube celebrity, touting the benefits of these new televisions. But that's not all it does. It also recognizes your face and your gestures. Which is great for finding all of my favorite apps like YouTube. So you guys will never believe where I'm going this week. Hold on. Oh, that's great, I, Justine. Thank you for selling your soul out to be in a commercial like that. Let's see what George Orwell had to say about this in his classic novel, 1984. Where, on page number two, Two, he says, the telescreen received and transmitted simultaneously. Any sound that Winston made above the level of a very low whisper would be picked up by it. Moreover, so long as he remained within the field of vision, which the metal plaque commanded, he could be seen as well as heard. 
There was, of course, no way of knowing whether he was being watched at any given moment. How often or what system the thought police plugged in on any individual wire was guesswork. Oh, that's great. So it was even conceivable that they watched everybody all the time. But at any, any rate, they could plug into your wire whenever they wanted to. You had to live, did live, from habit that became instinct in the assumption that every sound you made was overheard and except in darkness, every movement scrutinized. That was written in 1949 in his book, 1984. Yeah, and I warned about this in 2005 in my book, The Resistance Manifesto, but I guess I was just a paranoid conspiracy theorist thinking that this was going to happen. Yeah, only I was just seven years ahead of Wired Magazine and the Daily Mail. But now that it is here, I guess I will continue to be called a paranoid conspiracy theorist because, well, it just doesn't matter. You know, if you don't have anything to hide, why are you so concerned? <laughs> because I just don't trust the government data mining what I say, marking me as a potential terrorist for the things that I think, the things that I say, even though they're completely peaceful. Although the Constitution, I guess, will be considered a terrorist document probably in a few more years here in this Orwellian New World Order. So, yeah, way to go. Thank you, David Petraeus. It's just all out in the open now. This is indisputable. It's not a con it's not someday in the future. It's not that they might do this. No, they're already doing it. David Petraeus, the head of the CIA, says this is going to change society. Yeah, but I'm just the worried one. I'm paranoid. I'm the conspiracy theorist. Yeah, so if you'd like to read my paranoid conspiracy theories, just check out any one of my books, especially Big Brother, The Aurelian Nightmare Come True. Get it in paperback on Amazon.com or Kindle if you'd like an ebook. Get the Kindle reader on your iPad. But I don't even trust ebooks anymore because at some point in the future, they can actually be deleted or remotely changed, now, today actually, from your Kindle reader. Oh, that's right. There was actually an instance of George Orwell's 1984, an unauthorized copy being listed in the Kindle bookstore, and everybody that downloaded it, that paid for it, just had that copy magically deleted remotely from their Kindle readers. Whoops, just down the memory hole. And if you don't know what a memory hole is, then you really need to read George Orwell's novel, 1984. And I hope that you read my books as well. I've been warning about this for years in the face of so much ridicule. But now, as the years have progressed, it's pretty much undeniable that I am correct. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Mark Dice. Some pretty cool stuff, I think, huh? In addition to what you've just seen, the face recognition feature seamlessly logs in each family member to their own smart hub profile. You can see your apps, your wife can see her apps, and your children will see theirs all individually. Now that's just a taste of what is possible with our smart interaction technology.